late and I haven't started today's vlog yet, so I guess today's going to be one of those one-shot vlogs. Ah, <sighs> today has been not a productive day. Today has been a Friday, and let's see, today I watched Game of Thrones, messed around with that computer, and messed around with the desktop. The desktop I've been uh, stressing with Memtest to make sure to see uh, what the problems are, because it's been crashing a lot. So, I ran Memtest for like an hour and a half, and it had an error. Uh, which it didn't, it got the error like, I don't know, about two hours in, or an hour and a half into running, and then I looked and I saw that error, there was some mismatch, a pattern didn't happen. And, man, that's unfortunate. Um, I bumped down the overclock and I'm really starting to push the clock speed down on that processor down to like, well, <laughs> really pushing it down now, it's only at four gigahertz. Um, because the clock speed and the memory speed are linked, so when you change one, you have to change the other. And basically, in order to get the clock high enough, I need to either, um, or the processor clock, if it gets high enough, then I need to either bump down the memory speed to a different bin of speeds, and basically I end up in a situation where I can either have the processor run at like 4.4 gigahertz, but then the memory runs at 1200 megahertz, or I can run it at 4 gigahertz and have the memory run at about 1400 megahertz. Because my RAM is really crappy. Uh, that's probably like the cheapest thing that I have in my computer is the RAM, and it's just really old 1333 MHz stuff. Luckily, it overclocks a little bit. But um, yeah, sometime in the future, I do want to invest in better RAM, but I was looking today at uh, there are engineering sample Xeons that are on eBay for the newest iteration of Xeons, and they are. Surprisingly affordable. Like, you can get a 20-core processor for less than $600 if you look hard enough, and then the motherboards are pretty much on par with pricing with any newer Intel motherboards. Like, they're anywhere from $1 to $300, depending on what kind of motherboard you want to get. And if I did that, then I'd need to get DDR4 RAM, which means that if I were to upgrade my RAM now, it would be useless because that'd be DDR3, and ah, it's just one problem after another. Um, but then I spent the rest of the day, well, not spent the rest of the day, I spent a lot of time trying to get this thing overclocked a little bit more because th that desktop only runs at like 3.5 gigahertz or so, and it's a really bad chip. <laughs> I was like doing everything that I possibly could and I could not push that thing past 3.5 gigahertz without it being extraordinarily unstable, and heck, right now it's not even entirely stable. It, I, right before I checked up, or right before I started the vlog, I looked at it and it had crashed and restarted, so... That poor computer. It is not... It's not a good computer. Well, it's a pretty good computer, especially considering how much it cost, but... Stupid thing. <laughs> it keeps crashing on me. But, uh, yeah, other than that, Game of Thrones was... I we, Mary and I, we watched five episodes of Game of Thrones today, season two, we're, well, I'm, she's re-watching it. I'm sort of, kind of watching it for the first time. I've watched, I've seen episodes, like, scattered throughout all the seasons. And I have a general idea of what the story is, but now I'm finally filling in everything. And we're in season two, episode five. We just finished that. We're on episode six now. And it's pretty good so far. Except there's this one scene where this shadow demon thing came into the picture and it just felt really out of place in the context of the rest of the story because the entire story is somewhat realistic and I use realistic in quotes because it's not so much that it's it, it could have happened I mean they're dragons and obviously dragons don't exist but I can imagine a dragon existing like Dragons could be something physical that could have happened if the world was a little bit different. But then this shadow demon thing came out of nowhere and killed a guy, and I was like, what is, what's that? That's so out of place. <sighs> but it's pretty good. Other than that, I really like it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying watching it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to end off the vlog today. Um, like I said, it was going to be a single shot thing. It's kind of late, so I don't think too much else is going to happen. I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening playing Overwatch or something. Tomorrow, let's see, since it's the weekend, I can't really do too many job applications because, well, I mean, people don't usually work on weekends, so my applications won't be read. But I'll probably look for a few things and send out a couple just so there's a queue of them built up for next week. <sighs> this is my life now, just 
Job applications, Game of Thrones, and Overwatch. And computers. Lots and lots of computers. So many computers. But, alas, that is going to be all for today, guys. I need to edit the vlogs. So maybe I'll do that after I finish off this. I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will see you all again tomorrow. So until then, good night, guys.